Let's get to one of the big winners tonight. That's Martha McSally. ABC 15's Melissa Blasey is at McSally's headquarters and Melissa, she was the GOP favorite and did not disappoint. Absolutely, Steve. In fact, Martha McSally is soaring high tonight, easily winning the Republican primary for U.S. Senate. In fact, she beat out her nearest opponent by more than 20, night, uh, 20 points tonight. Martha McSally starting her victory speech, though, with a tribute to the late Senator John McCain and a moment of silence for him. McSally is a former military pilot who serves Tucson in the U.S. House of Representatives currently. After talking about McCain, we got a taste of McSally's general election campaign coming out swinging tonight against Kirsten, Kirsten Cinema, saying her Democratic opponent is pretending to be a moderate, a moderate and dubbing her Hollywood Cinema. The contrast is clear uh, between somebody who protested our troops in a pink tutu and wanted to shut down Luke Air Force Base, who is so extreme and left as a Green Party activist, uh, or someone who served our, my country our whole, my whole life. It's going to be a very clear contrast. If you want someone who's a career politician or a career fighter pilot. And President Donald Trump just tweeting out a few minutes ago saying Martha McSally running in the Arizona primary for U.S. Senate was endorsed by rejected Senator Jeff Flake and turned it down a first. The president goes on to say now Martha, a great U.S. military fighter jet pilot and highly respected member of Congress wins big. Congratulations. So a big shout out from the president tonight as Martha McSally handily wins the Republican nomination for our U.S. Senate seat to replace Senator Jeff Flake. Back to you. Well, McSally's opponent, Kelly Ward, running a campaign trying to align herself with President Trump to get his supporters into her camp, but the results not in her favor tonight. It sounds like this may be her last campaign. I don't, I'm not planning to run again. I didn't think I was going to run again this time. Uh, when I ran against Senator McCain, it was grueling, and nearly $18 million in negative attack ads were spent on, uh, you know, against me. So obviously, the, the insider class in Washington, D.C. has some kind of fear of Kelly Ward. Well, she mentioned Senator McCain. He defeated her for the GOP nomination in 2016. Also vying tonight for that Senate nomination, Joe Arpaio. Many thought he was done in the political arena when he was ousted as Maricopa County Sheriff. ABC 15's Justin Pizarro with Arpaio tonight in Fountain Hills. And Justin, kind of the uh, end of an era here. It really is, Stephen. Just a really a sense of disappointment here in Fountain Hills. I was watching Arpaio as these results started to come in slowly, and you could really just kind of see on his face uh, that disappointment. But he did take to the stage tonight, thanking all of those supporters, uh, even saying at one point, I hope I didn't disappoint you. He did talk a lot about supporting the president. He says uh, that he will be with President Trump until the very end. But he's also hoping that Martha McSally will give as much support to the president, but in the end, this is not what our pile wanted. What do you think that it was that maybe cost you this race? Well, I, I think getting in late, and I, uh, I'm not going to question my age, but I know a lot of people say you ought to be retired. Uh, I think that may have been a, been, uh, you know, something against me. So I asked Arpaio if this would be his last interview as a politician. He says that he doubts that he will run again, but he also said, never say never. Uh, I asked him what he plans to do tomorrow. He said tonight he's looking forward to a really good night's sleep. He says that he has not slept in months. Katie and Steve.